start mr speaker sir this is the seventh day i believe of this debate and 70 persons have already spoken i am the 71st in the long procession i have been hesitating whether i should take up the time of this house in this marathon race i might straight away say that i am not greatly interested where a particular state boundary is situated and i find it very difficult to get passionate or excited about it i have my preferences naturally but it does not make much difference to me where the internal boundary of a state is drawn infinitely more important is what happens on either side of the boundary what happens within the state and what happens to people inside a particular state who may linguistically or in any other sense form a minority once we lay down these basic principles correctly and act up to them then the vast number of problems and difficulties and legitimate grievances that arise will automatically disappear i may tell the house that i am not speaking specifically in my capacity as prime minister or on behalf of government and i am not going to make any epoch making pronouncement we in government have been considering this report and other matters that flow from it for the last many weeks and we shall continue to consider them till we come up to this house with our recommendations therefore it will not be proper for me or for any other members of government to speak in any tone of finality about this matter but i may give expression to my own inclinations in regard to the recommendations of the report and the other suggestions that have been made one thing i should like to say is that i have regretted very greatly certain criticism that have been made in the press against the commission one can criticize the commission's recommendations of course but to bring a charge of unfairness is itself unfair it is the kind of approach which will make such work much more difficult hereafter we choose eminent men they take a great deal of trouble and tell us what they think about the problem we may or may not agree with them but to attack their fairness is if i may say so not only a wrong approach but an indication that one's case is right now very weak may i also suggest for the consideration of this house that while members here represent their constituencies they represent something more each member is not only a member of this or that area of india but a member for india as a whole he represents india and at not time can he afford to forget this basic fact that india is more than the little corner of india that he represents this is more necessary when we have to face certain forces which may be called separatist people's attention is being diverted to local approaching state and provincial problems and they are forgetting the larger problems of india it has been my good fortune 
and privilege to travel about India a great deal and often to go abroad. I have had that good fortune perhaps more than most. Members of this house, as a result, I am constantly compelled to think in larger terms, not only in a national terms, but in international terms. I see the picture of India in that larger context. Perhaps my travel has helped me to see events in the true perspective. As I travel about India, I feel excited by its moving drama. There are of course many things I do not like, but it is inspiring to see India moving today as if by the dictates of some preordained fate and destiny towards its goal. I submit to the house that we can see this better if we go abroad and see this country from some distance. There are many people in the wide world who also are beginning to feel the drama and adventure of what is happening in this they see how we have got over great problems and great difficulties. It is true that we have been greater problems ahead but we are judged in the measure in which we have succeeded in the past. We may argue about the boundary of Bihar or Bengal or Urissa. We may regard the question as important but the word important is a relative word. There may be things which are more important and we must not lose ourselves in passionate excitement over the boundary of a state. We must take a total view of India. We must by constitution, convention or otherwise guarantee that a person whether he lives on this side of the border of a state or the other will have the fullest rights and opportunities of progress according to his own way. That is my approach to this matter but I feel that this larger outlook is sometimes lost sight of. This should not be done for larger national interest. That does not mean that I dislike language being a very important matter in our administration or education or culture. I recognize that the language of the people is a vital matter for their development whether it is education, administration or any other matter. But there is a distinction between developing the language to the fullest extent and this passion for building up a wall around a linguistic area and calling it a border. I completely accept the statement that people cannot really grow except through their language but it does not follow that in order to make them and their language grow, a barrier must be erected between them and others. The various language areas in India represent the development of history through the ages. But drawing a hard and fast line between two areas is, I think, carrying it too far. As a matter of fact, it just does not matter where you draw your line. Stop.